I wanted to do a everyday I'm going to work makeup routine or also a job interview routine that is very simple, very easy, and not very time consuming. So if this is something that you may be interested in, make sure that you keep on watching. So today we're gonna be using a lot of different powders. And for this, you wanna make sure that you are um, moisturizing your skin and that you have on like some very thick moisturizer for anybody who has normal to dry skin. So I fall under the category of normal to dry. I know some people have oily skin, so you wouldn't have to do as much with the moisturizer. So just going in with my Makeup Forever Pro Finishing Powder. I'm going to use that as a base and just apply that in areas where it is needed. Now this powder is very like red on me. I figured that out yesterday. But I'm still going to use that. I probably just mix my Sephora Micro Smooth powder with it. So as you can see, this is gonna give me like coverage. And this is a simple and easy like routine for in the morning, when, even when you're just going to work. Not only for an interview makeup, but just work. So we got that covered. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 410 and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes for a little coverage. And this routine is super easy. We're even going to use the same brush for everything. Okay, so I'm going to blend this out underneath my eyes. And because this concealer is crease proof, it is going to be perfect to just wear alone underneath the eye. But if you are a girl who likes to set, you can also set it as well. So it's just gonna give me a little brightness underneath the eye so we can look awoke. Like we, we are awake at the end of the year, okay? Or just at work in general. If you had a long night, you probably wanna apply some Priscilla underneath just so you know they know that you're there and you're, you're awake <laughs> even if you're not you know you can play it out <laughs> I'm gonna also work on the eyebrows not too much I don't really do as much with my eyebrows these days anyway, so I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit and that's gonna be that. So you wanna go underneath, a very light stroke because this is a little dark. This is the ColourPop Brazilian Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. So I'm making very light strokes just to make sure that I'm filling in those sparse areas, but I'm not doing anything too major because we don't want to scare the people away at work or at the interview. So we have our brows, we have our face, and next I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder underneath my eyes and all over my face just to tone down that red. And I'm using the shade Deep. Taking that same brush, I'm gonna swirl around in the product and apply underneath the eye. And just bring it down um, on all of the rest of the palette that I apply so that we could tone down the redness in that foundation powder. And I really do like the Sephora Micro, Micro Smooth Powder. It is really nice and smooth, literally. So, yeah, y'all wanna go check that out. Now with this powder, I would say that you would wanna use this on top of a powder. If you use this on top of like makeup that is liquid and not set, 
or it's not kind of like self-setting, it won't react well. So that was something I learned about this powder and a tip that I just wanted to get to you guys. Next, taking my Black Radiance. Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Ebony. I'm gonna apply this uh, as a contour. So very lightly, I'm pressing it to the powder, but I'm just gonna press that on my face really lightly because I don't want it to come off really pigmented and look really great. So we kind of like taking that and brushing that up into you want a little bit up here as well. So we're doing that too. And a little contour down the nose. Won't hurt nobody at work, you know. Just so you can be snatched at work too. Like that's important. You might want to go on a jawline, it's just up to you. And voila. Of course we need us some mascara and we'll be done. So taking my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, I'm going to use that on my lips. And there you have it. Like, this is your interview makeup. This is your everyday work makeup. So if this is something that you were interested in, that you learned a few tips from, then make sure that you like this video. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace.